STM32 WL55 dual core project in the processor communication controller. What are the goals of this session? Using STM32 Cube IDE, I will demonstrate how to select, configure, and use interprocessor communication controller and shared memory concept. Then I will monitor peripherals within debug session uh, using the project running on two cores. And uh, by using a built in single wire viewer with an STM32 Cube IDE, we'll monitor in a graphical way some variables modified by both cores. Before this, uh, I would spend a while on discussion about uh, theoretical points related to interprocessor communication controller. Prerequisites We'll run this example on a Nucleo WL55 JC2 board. This board will be connected to PC using micro USB cable. Additionally, we would need one single wire to connect two standard gold pins on the board, and this is raster 2.54 mm. We would need uh, as well PC with pre installed the following software STM32 Cube IDE in version at least 1.5.0 and uh, STM32 WL Cube library in version at least 1.0.0. Interprocessor Communication Controller IPCC Theory Interprocessor Communication Controller is used for communication between two cores. CPU1 or C1 is assigned to Cortex-M4 and CPU2 or C2 is assigned to Cortex-M0+. Interprocessor Communication IPCC contains 12 channels, 6 per each direction. CPU1 to CPU2 and 6 from CPU2 to CPU1. These uh, channels can work in simplex mode where data transfer is uh, in a single direction from sending to receiving core and uh, it can work as well in half duplex mode when both cores are exchanging data. So after one core sends data, the other one sends a response to it. This is kind of ping pong operation. Interprocessor communication controller can generate interrupts on selected, means masked, channels activities. Once the data has been loaded into shared area, so this is IPCC underscore PEREX underscore occupied flag, and uh, once data has been read from shared area, and this is IPCC underscore TX underscore free flag. To exchange data, uh, both cores must use the same IPCC channel and the same shared memory buffers, so it uh, requires some modification on the linker file. IPCC doesn't uh, handle buffers nor memories, so it is up to the developer to handle them. Configuration flow using HAL libraries uh, done with a code generated by stm 32 cubemix or stm 32 cube ide to activate and use IPCC controller, it is uh, necessary to enable IPCC's interface clock. Then in case of interrupt mode selection, uh, which is a default setting of uh, Cubemix and CubeIDE generated code, uh, we need to uh, configure the IPCC interrupt priority and enable its uh, NVIC channel. In case of polling mode, uh, it is up to the user to poll the status of the communication. Uh, most of the configuration of uh, IPCC is done with an user code. So STM32 Cubemix and STM32 CubeIDE are just enabling the IPCC, uh, its clock and uh, its interrupt. Communication flow uh, using HAL libraries uh, with an user configuration part. So after we will generate the basic skeleton of the application with IPCC using STM32 Cube ID or STM32 Cube MX, uh, we need to select uh, the IPCC channel from 0 to 5 uh, for both cores, and it needs to be the same for both cores. And then we need to specify the direction of the communication. I, it should be IPCC underscore channel underscore DIR underscore TX for the core which uh, would transfer the data, and it should be uh, Rx uh, for the core, uh, which would accept the data. Then we need to uh, select the communication mode, uh, so it can be either polling or interrupt mode. Uh, then in case of interrupt mode, we need to implement the interrupt callbacks for transmission and reception. 
And uh, the last point is to associate the callback to the corresponding channel and direction using HAL underscore IPCC underscore activate notification function. Communication flow using HAL libraries pulling mode. To send information, please use HAL underscore IPCC underscore notify CPU function with IPCC channel DIR TX argument and uh, to know when the other processor has handled the notification please poll the communication using hal underscore ipcc underscore notify cpu function with ipcc underscore channel underscore dir underscore tx argument to receive information uh, poll the status of the communication with hal ipcc get channel status function with ipcc channel dir uh, rx uh, argument and to notify the other processor that the information has been received please use hal underscore ipcc underscore notify cpu function with exactly the same argument communication flow using hardware abstraction layer libraries in interrupt mode to use uh, ipcc in interrupt mode we need to implement a callback function or functions which would be called at the end of ipcc interrupt before that, uh, we need to assign the callbacks, so the function names uh, for the channel and the direction using HAL IPCC and activate notification functions. This should be done uh, for both directions or the direction we would like to use within the selected core. The directions can be either transmit, so TX, or reception, so RX, what you can see on the screen. Then to transmit an information, uh, so after transmit, transmission of the information to the shared buffer, we need to use afterwards the HAL underscore IPCC underscore notify CPU function with IPCC underscore channel underscore DIR underscore TX argument and the callback related to this uh, direction would be called once this notification has been sent because this notification was triggering the interrupt uh, which will be handled by the other processor uh, which has this notification enabled. To receive an information, the callback uh, configured within uh, HAL underscore IPCC underscore IT activate notification function and the uh, RX uh, argument uh, will be triggered on reception of the communication to notify the other processor that the information has been received. Uh, we need to use HAL underscore IPCC underscore notify CPU with this RX argument. IPCC in simplex mode. What you can see on the screen is a communication between both cores called processor A and processor B. So processor A is sending some data, so write communication data. After this, it is uh, sending the function HAL IPCC notify CPU, which is triggering the interrupt or an RX direction on processor B and this uh, interrupt is uh, let's say triggering the read communication data on processor B side and after completion of this read operation processor B is triggering again the function HAL underscore IPCC notify CPU which can trigger the same interrupt on transmit side on processor A. Uh, in this particular case it is clearly just clearing the flag on the selected IPCC channel uh, which allows uh, processor A to write next data on the shared buffer. IPCC have duplex mode. Here we can see the communication between both processors, processor A and B. It can be Cortex-M4 and Cortex-M0+, like in our example. So processor A is writing some data to the communication channel, so to the shared buffer. After this, it is sending the notification using HAL underscore IPCC underscore notify CPU function, and it is triggering the RX occupied interrupt on processor B side. Then the processor B, uh, based on this interrupt, is reading the data, and uh, once it reads the data, it can write a response to the um, shared buffer. As you can see, this uh, channel on the IPCC selected channel, it is still on active side. So it uh, blocks uh, C uh, processor A from sending new data over there. So after writing the response by the processor B, processor B is uh, calling HAL underscore IPCC underscore notify CPU function, which is triggering the TX, so transmit free interrupt, on processor A side. 
this is uh, clearing this uh, channel uh, flag for the IPCC, which is used uh, to communicate between both, both cores, and it allows uh, processor A to send the new data over uh, this shared channel. So we can see it on the screen uh, later on. So processor A is reading a response, then writing the communication data. And uh, after this, uh, it is again, is calling the function hal underscore IPCC notify CPU, which is rising the RX uh, interrupt on processor B side. And processor B, uh, within this interrupt, it is reading the data, writing a response, and it is triggering uh, again the TX free interrupt on processor A side. And we can see this ping pong operation it can continue like uh, this. Interprocessor communication, IPCC, uh, API, key functions from stm32wlxx-hal-ipcc.c file. stm32wl-hal functions uh, present uh, within stm 32 cubemix or stm 32 cube ide generated code uh, are the following. So the function executed from main uh, uh, function at that initialization stage, so this is main.c file for both cores, is uh, HAL underscore uh, IPCC underscore init function with uh, a handler to IPCC as an argument. Then uh, the function which is executed uh, from uh, HAL IPCC init to set the priority and enable the interrupt from this for this peripheral, it is uh, HAL underscore IPCC underscore MSP init uh, function and uh, it is uh, stored uh, with an HL underscore MSP dot C file for both cores. Uh, so those two functions are generated automatically by CubeMix or Cube IDE. Then we've got as well the skeletons of the of the functions of an uh, WL underscore IT dot C file, so the file with uh, interrupts. And uh, we can see there uh, already HAL underscore IPCC underscore TX or RX underscore IRQ handler. So there are two separate uh, functions for transmit and receive uh, direction uh, for IPCC peripheral. And uh, those uh, functions are generated automatically and start within this interrupt.c uh, file. Configuration of selected IPCC channel with activation of its notifications via interrupt uh, is done by uh, HAL underscore IPCC underscore activate notification function. Uh, it requires four arguments. The first one is IPCC handler. The second one is IPCC channel. It can be uh, the number from 0 to 5. Then there is a direction, so it can be either transmit or receive, what we can see on the screen. And then the last argument is a callback function, which will be called at the end of the interrupt service routine in case of interrupt trigger. Uh, the return value uh, can be either HAL OK, means zero, and this is, uh, it means that the operation was successful, or HAL error, uh, which means that uh, IPCC was busy, not initialized, or its handler is not defined. It is possible to de deactivate notifications, so interrupt triggering, uh, on select channels using HAL underscore IPCC underscore deactivate notification functions. It needs uh, three arguments. The first one is IPCC handler. The second one is selected channel. It can be number from 0 to 5. And the last argument is a direction, so it can be either IPCC underscore channel underscore DIR underscore TX uh, for the transmit direction, or RX uh, for the receive direction. This function uh, will return one of the values, either HAL underscore OK once the operation is successful, or HAL underscore error in case of a problem. So. It can be IPCC busy state or uh, IPCC can be not initialized or its handler is not defined yet. One of the most important functions so of an IPCC HAL library function set, it is HAL underscore IPCC underscore notify CPU. This function is creating a notification to the core, the cores, about operation on the shared buffer, so write or read operation in fact. 
So it requires three arguments. The first one is IPCC handler. The second one is a channel, so it can be from 0 to 5. And the second one is uh, IPCC channel direction. So it can be either transmit, so TX, or reception, so RX. Uh, once uh, we activate the notifications, this function will trigger an interrupt on the second core uh, informing it about uh, the change in the, in the shared buffer. Thank you for watching this video.